guys, what's up? It's Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please think about hitting that subscribe button if this is something that you guys are into. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Okay, so today it's time that I do some quarantine chores. <laughs> And first up on my list is my sunroom. You guys, it is a complete disaster. It's such a mess, but I feel like it's hot enough right now that I can start bringing all my plants that I have inside, which are all behind me, outside under my sunroom. But I gotta do a lot of cleaning. It's such a mess out there. Like, it's a disaster. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you guys how much of a mess I have out there, but I'm trying to be more transparent. So I'm just gonna show you, and hopefully this will be a cute before and after, you know lame with no plants to super cute and jungly once I bring all my plants out there so we'll see if that's the case but stay tuned we're gonna get into that and first off I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have in here that I'm gonna be moving out so let's do that and time to clean it's getting late in the day it's starting to get dark so I'm probably gonna have to set some lights up out there so you guys can see but let's just get right to it shelf that's right behind me used to be out on my sunroom but my little cat kept climbing the bricks and jumping from like the window air unit to the shelf and she was destroying all my plants I even tried putting stuff up to barricade her from jumping up there it just didn't work and so last year she was really little and I didn't have to worry about it but now you guys it's bad so we decided to move my shelf in here so I have like a weird awkward empty spot that's on my sunroom but I don't know, I'll figure it out. I wanna hang a shelf there, but it's brick, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. So this guy's staying in here with all the plants. Unfortunately, it's just how it has to be right now. So everything that's gonna be going outside has to be hanging. So let me turn around and show you all the plants I have in here hanging, and then we'll start carrying them outside and <laughs> cleaning outside. I got a vacuum, I gotta clean. Let's just, just get to it, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Okay, so here are all my plants that I have hanging up in here on this pole in my laundry room that my husband hung for me. So all of these are gonna be going outside and I've gotta figure out <laughs> if I have enough hooks or not. And then I have some in my plant room that I'm gonna take out as well. So I've got quite a few to move. Okay, so here's my doors to the inside and here's what it looks like out here. Say hey, Peanut. I got my ladder out here so I can reach everything. And this is it, you guys. It's so bare and nothing. My husband did just hang these lights for me, which really helps at night because it gets so dark out here. So here it is. This is a mess. Okay, I got sheets on the couch so it doesn't get covered in cat hair. Then it's here's this side with the cat tower. I need to Windex those windows. And this is what it looks like. So here is my philodendron cordatum or hartley philodendron the tv needs to be dusted and it's just a mess i have to redo this whole pole and yes the lights quit halfway but we ordered more to hang of the same exact ones so i guess it's time for me to get cleaning let me show you the other side of my sunroom so i'm going to come up here and turn around and here is what the other side looks like so in my last sunroom tour video i left out this big boy <laughs> this eyesore that we have out here our hot tub but i'm just going to show it to you guys it doesn't even matter then over here on this wall was where the shelf was that is no longer and instead here are some broken blinds that my cats ripped so i got to take those down and we are going to get just another short little brown blind for right there to put at that window to cover just a short version of the same ones but we just haven't done it yet so i gotta rip these down because they just destroyed these like the other day because see there's a bird nest there so yeah so i guess let's just get to it <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to have a hot tub out here unless it was one of those inflatable ones like that because you couldn't get it through the door so i love that thing and it's just Part of what it is out here, and the cats are enjoying my ladder, trying to get it what's left of this sad, sad sissus. So let's get to cleaning, and hopefully it'll look a lot better once 
I get all my plants out here. And hopefully I can keep them safe from you guys, right? Huh? You guys? figured out is that I need more chains because I want them to be low enough to be getting the sunlight from the window so I have this bucket right here pliers and some chains some of these chains up here I need to pull down and half them because they're way too long especially with the cats now they'll reach them this year so I'm gonna take some of these chains down and half them and then go around and hang them on some of the other hooks that I have and then I'll see if I have enough hooks or if I have to get my husband to come out here to hang some more hooks in the ceiling, which I think might end up happening. So let's break some of these chains up before my cats eat my plants. All right, so I got all my plants hung up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now out here. It's starting to get dusk, so hopefully my light will be enough. But yeah, I'm going to go around and show you guys how I have it set up. And I don't know, the only thing I would say is I want to get some more macrame so I can do like a macrame like every other plant. But I just don't have any right now. So, and I'm kind of wanting to hang some more hooks. I feel like there's some weird bare spots. But yeah, I'll go around and show you guys what it looks like now. I'm really happy because it's jungle vibes out here again. And I just love spending time out here. And without plants out here, it's kind of been sad. So yeah, I'm happy that the Jungle Vibe's back, so let's go check it out and see how I have it set up. She kind of scratched her eye yesterday, so I've been putting cream. I have like eye cream for cats in it. I don't know what the deal is, so hopefully she'll be okay, but your poor eye. No, don't scratch my camera. Your poor eye looks a little, a little sad. See? Mm, poor baby. But hopefully the cream will help. Okay, so first up is this corner, and because I have the cat tower right here, I have to have a plant that they can't reach, so I just put this lemon lime out here in this little thrifted basket that I got. Then I have my prayer plant, which I don't know why it's still alive. <laughs> if it is alive, I don't know, you guys. I'm struggling with this. I I've killed all of them before, so he's been moving around a little bit, and I'm not sure, is that normal for him to look like that? So let me know. <laughs> and then I have my philodendron micans. Then I have my Hoya DS70 or Bilobata, I believe is what it's called. And then I have up my Cebu Blue, which this one is so full and luscious. I love it. Then I just have that little guy in the corner. Then over here, I have my giant pothos, which I am in love with. Look at how huge those leaves are. So I might move him if I get a pole hung on the other side. I'll show you once we get over there. Then we have my giant syngonium. Then next up over there is another pothos. Here's my pothos or devil's ivy as some like to say. This is just the plain green one and I picked him up at Food Lion, you guys. Food Lion has usually a couple house plants so it's dangerous if I go grocery shopping there because I'll pick them up. And this guy I think was like $10, so it's good deals. Okay, so next up I have my Scandapsis Pictus right here. This one is the Aguaris or Argerius. I've heard it say said both ways, so let me know which is correct. But yeah, it's the one with the little speckles. 
Then on over to the right, I have my bird nest fern, which it is needing a drink. So you see how the bottom ones droop and the top ones stay firm and sticking straight up? That's how I know it needs a drink. Then next up, I have my other Scandapsis Pictus. This one's the Exotica. It has the bigger leaves. Isn't it just so beautiful? I, you guys know I love my Scandapsis. Okay, so to the right, I have another Cebu Blue. This one is not as lush and healthy as my other one. Then in the corner, I have a fake spider plant. Yes, I have a fake spider plant because the hot tub is right here and it's really hard to get into that corner to water. So last year in this empty spot, I had a wooden pole that was easy for me to reach them, but the pole is hanging in my plant room and I'm not sure if I wanna leave that in there or if I wanna get something else to hang out here or if I wanna put a couple hooks, but I don't know, that's the deal. So if I do hang the pole right there, I am gonna put that pothos with that giant leaf and see if I can get it to kind of wrap around that pole. Okay, so moving on down to the awkward blinds corner, I have this japonica right there. Then I have a mixed pot of some stuff that, I don't know, my cat's knocked over and basically killed. It's just a random little spot. Then I have a, another philodendron cordatum, the heartleaf philodendron right here, which I think he will be happy in this spot. Okay, so right on over next is another little exotica. I propagated this one, and look, he's already shooting out a little vine. Isn't it so cute? Then I have my dead, <laughs> it is dead, um, Sissus. If I can reach up in here and show you. I don't know if you can see. There is one baby leaf up in there. That is it, one leaf. So we'll see if I can bring them back to life. So let's just move on over to the right some more. So moving on over is my cat on our paint ladder. I think I'm just gonna leave this out here for them for a little while to climb on. Right, Peanut? Then over, moving on over, I have my heart leaf philodendron up here, my cordatum and it is going crazy you guys it has grown so much that i had to loop its vine up here to this hook so my cats wouldn't you know destroy it and i've kind of had to do that on all of it it is so long and crazy but it is my favorite 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 look it's even grabbing on behind the TV. But yeah, I only had these one year and this is how much it grew. So if you're wanting yours to get bigger leaves or to grow more, give them something to climb because if they have something to climb, they love it and they'll grow so much. So yeah, I'm gonna start trying to give some more poles out here for some of them to climb just so they'll get this big. And last but not least is this little propagation of some <laughs> Monstera Addisonii, which is the leftovers from when my huge one got spider mites and, or not spider mites, mealybugs, and yeah, it was just not good. So yeah, because they walked this ledge right here, I had to make sure to put a plant that they couldn't reach, and I think it's far enough away from the window, the window seal right here to where they're not gonna get it, but I guess I'll find out soon enough. Then back over to my last little one. So that's what it looks like. I'll show you guys some far away clips. What do you think? Hmm? Oh, your poor eye. I hope it's okay. I hope the cream will help. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I have lots of other projects that I wanna bring you along with. 
I next up on the list probably needs to be the philodendron cordatum over here. I'm scared that that vine that's holding everything together is just gonna fall and those probably need to be repotted but I'm so scared to take them down because all the leaves are facing the windows. I don't know that's a whole nother day another project then also I need to hang a pole over there on the other side above where the hot tub is and I actually have a little shelf too that I'm thinking about hanging on the wall where I used to have the big shelf that's inside now so I don't know I gotta be particular and be careful because if my cats can get to it they'll destroy it but I hope you guys are doing okay on quarantine I'm doing just fine because I'm already uh, socially isolated because we live out in the country and nobody's around and there's really nothing to do here in my small town and I'm okay with that I just love spending time outside spending time with my plants and my animals but I know you guys are probably struggling I don't have any children so I'm not worrying about homeschooling my kids but I've heard from some of my other friends that they are already struggling and it's only been a couple days so I feel bad for you guys all those homeschoolers out there and country folks you know we're thriving right now <laughs> during lockdown so I don't know I hope you guys are doing okay um, please make sure to not go out unless you absolutely need to so we can get this over with quicker I'm only going to the grocery store which I'm stocking up when I do go I've only been like twice and even then I'm paranoid I'm already paranoid about germs so with me not working I'm like not being around people and I'm totally fine so yeah my sister was kind of making fun of us was like I bet you guys are thriving because y'all are already uh, used to being isolated and, and you know not doing things so yes we are we're doing okay and I've been working out every day so this is giving me the time to be able to work out again and yeah I'm, I'm doing pretty good so I hope you guys are I'm sorry if you're struggling right now, but try to do something with your plants or go outside if you can or walk your dog if you have a dog. I don't know. We even have like puzzles and stuff. So if it gets really bad, I've got plenty of other things to do, but I've got so many house projects that I don't think I'm going to run out of things to do. I have like a mess of a closet that we keep like our tools, our dog food, any kind of like paint or cleaning supplies. It's just kind of been the catch all and it's a disaster. A really bad disaster and it's been that way for a while so I think that one needs to get cleaned out I was hoping that I could get some stuff from the dollar store to do in there but since I'm not going anywhere we'll just probably have to clean it out with what we have so yeah do some closet cleans out clean outs garage you know you guys need to be creative think of some fun stuff that you can do but I just want to say thank you so much for watching and liking please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video it really does help out in the algorithms. Also, make sure to hit that little bell. If you're not already subscribed to me, please hit that subscribe button, you guys. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps my channel out. So make sure to hit that if you guys enjoy my content and give me the thumbs up. So I will be back at you guys again soon with another video. I'm not sure what's going to be next, but some other type of quarantine house project, planty project, something like that. So I just want to say thank you so much. Please stay safe and healthy, and I'll be back at you again soon with another video. Bye!